This is your $1,200 stimulus check update as of this morning, Monday, October 26th. Yes, this is your stimulus package update, second stimulus check update, and the update on those stimulus negotiations. As we know, basically any stimulus update as of now is also an update on those stimulus checks because unfortunately, those poor little guys are being held hostage within the stimulus package. So let's get right into it. But as always, my videos are for everybody, including social security recipients, retirement, disability, and survivors, SSI, supplemental security income, VA, RRB, low income, and no income. I like to look out for the underserved, the underrepresented, the underdog, whatever you want to say, but I like to look out for these groups of people, as I say, in all of my videos. So thanks so much for being here. If you're new, hey, welcome to the channel. My name is Matt. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. If you're returning, hey, welcome back. It's so great to see you again. Happy Monday to all of you. Let's get right into it. And we're where do we stand as of this Monday morning with the stimulus negotiations? So once again, Nancy Pelosi out in her daily briefing said that she remains optimistic that they can reach a stimulus uh, deal by election day. So we've been hearing this basically every day, but I guess remaining optimistic is better than being pessimistic and not having any optimism over a deal coming together. So Anyway, I always like to throw that out there because <laughs> we hear that statement literally every day. Um, but also, over the weekend, Nancy Pelosi provided Steve Mnuchin, Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin. We know the negotiations are down to those two people. She provided Steve Mnuchin with a list of concerns. Once again, we know this. They go back and forth with their notes every single day. They basically compare notes. They provide each other with a, with a list of concerns and ask for further clarification. So Nancy, over the weekend, provided Steve Mnuchin with a list of her concerns, and they are anticipated to meet once again today. So Nancy is hoping that Steve Mnuchin will come back today with answers to all of her concerns. Uh, with that list that she provided over the weekend. So we know that those two are going to be back today talking once again. So <laughs> we'll have to see what they come up with um, a little bit later today when they have compared notes. So good stuff. Nancy Pelosi also went on to say that Democratic, um, the Democratic aides have been writing the legislation for this stimulus bill um, in anticipation of what has already been agreed upon between both sides. So we know between this stimulus negotiation, I know it feels like we're really far apart still, but we're really not. And I know I'm not gonna say like, oh, we're so close, but they are much, much closer than they were. In fact, they can already start to write the legislation on a lot of this stimulus bill because both sides already agree on so much of it right now. So like Nancy was saying, they're already writing the legislation for this bill with, um, with what both sides have already agreed upon. So that's good. The reason is they need to be proactive and, and kind of front run this a little bit. The reason is, let's think of this legislation. How long is it? Is it going to be 100 pages? No, not even close. It's going to be a couple, a couple thousand pages. So a couple thousand pages. How long is it going to take for them to draft up a couple thousand pages of legislation. Well, it's gonna take quite a while, right? But if they can start working on it now, start writing those provisions within the stimulus bill that both sides have already openly agreed upon, hey, let's get that out of the way. And then when we agree on the remaining portions of the bill, let's just add those in. So it's nice that this is actually being put together to kind of, like I said, kind of front run the negotiations a little bit so that when we finally get to that end stage where we're right in line with, you know, field goal range, we can just enter in those last few negotiations and the last elements. And then we can kind of uh, run this to the House and the Senate for voting and then to the president's desk for that signature. So that's the deal. I also wanted to mention when I said a deal, a deal means before election day. So here's the deal. We're so close to the election. We're running out of time. The election is one week from tomorrow. Wow, it's getting really close, isn't it? So here's the deal. It's likely not going to be passed 
before election day. I mean, it could be, but the deal is they would have to need, they would have to have an, an agreement, a deal on that, probably by today in order to get that done because it's gonna take time to write up the rest of it in the legislation like I was just talking about. It's going to take time for both sides to review everything. It's going to take time for them to go to the House and vote on it, go to the Senate and vote on it and review everything. And then finally, you get, get it to the president's desk for a signature. So. All of that takes a very long time. We know that. So I suppose if they really hurried up, they could maybe have it voted and signed maybe by like Monday of next week, right before the election. But I mean, they're, they're literally just running out of time. So what we're hoping for now is just a deal between both sides before election day. So that's what we're really banking on at this point. Also, Mark Meadows was out and said that they have identified the Republicans who are going to vote in support of this stimulus bill. Remember, there's a bunch of Senate Republicans who have said that they don't want to support it. Well, don't worry about them. We have identified the Senate Republicans who are going to vote in support of the stimulus package and the stimulus deal. However, Mark Meadows said that these people are not going to just blindly vote and pass it, but rather they're going to read it thoroughly. So let's just hope that these people know how to speed read, right? I'm hoping anyway, let's uh, let's burn through those, you know, 2000-ish pages of legislation and make sure that everybody agrees so that we can just get through this already, vote on it, pass it, and send it off to the president. Now remember, Mitch McConnell was a little bit opposed to this. However, he said last week that once again, uh, he will bring it to the Senate floor for a vote, provided the president agrees to sign it if it is passed. And we already know President Trump has made it very clear that he will basically sign just about everything. Not everything, but he'll sign a pretty big package at this point. He's already made that very clear. So interesting stuff. I mean, it's good to know. However, in COVID cases over the weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, three record days in COVID spikes. Kind of scary stuff, right? As we look over to Europe, Europe, uh, Spain, uh, uh, France, <laughs> I was going to say the other one, uh, Spain, Italy, and France, those three countries over in the European region are seeing spikes as well. In fact, Italy and Spain are closing down some of their industries once again. So they're trying to avoid a full-fledged lockdown in this whole situation. But, you know, once again, getting pretty scary over there. As we know earlier this year, it got to be pretty serious over in Italy and Spain. You know, all those European countries, it was pretty bad over there, pretty scary. So they're trying to avoid that full-fledged lockdown once again. But, you know... It's getting kind of scary. But anyway, here in the United States, we had record COVID cases Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So once again, the trajectory that we are not looking forward to, it's going to be interesting to see what happens over the coming days, weeks, and months for sure. But anyway, it's going to be interesting to see what Steve Mnuchin comes back with as far as these um, the clarification, that what, as far as what Nancy Pelosi submitted to him over the weekend. So we'll be watching for that clarification today as both of them will be reconvening once again, Nancy and Steve, comparing notes. So maybe I'll be back later this afternoon if they have any you know, riveting information that they come out with and uh, provide us with as far as further clarification on the stimulus negotiations. But that's what we have as of today, Monday morning. I hope you enjoyed this. And of course, I will always be back when we have more information that is worth providing. So maybe I'll catch you again later this afternoon in that. Otherwise, I will see you again soon. Thanks so much for watching and have a nice day.